We're more than six months into this pandemic and some people are really over it. Psychologists say pandemic fatigue is real and it's setting in all across the nation. Yeah, people thought the worst was over, but now think there might be no end in sight. And as our Fox Medical team's Beth Galvin reports, that's leading them to feel exhausted. I think many, many people are really struggling right now. For years, Emory School of Medicine and Grady psychologist Dr. Nadine Caslow has talked us through one crisis after another. And this one, she says, has a lot of people feeling stuck. They kind of got through what they thought was going to be the worst of it, except it just keeps going on and on and on. And there's no sense of an end in sight. You could call it pandemic fatigue. And I think part of the challenge is that it usually if I have fatigue, then the next person can step in there. And when they get fatigued, maybe I can step back in. But now everybody's fatigued. And Dr. Caslow says the most important thing that you can do right now is find ways to pace yourself. And I know so many parents, especially moms right now, are saying, I'm getting lost in all this. Between doing my job and taking care of family responsibilities and schooling my children, there is no me time. So the most important things are to love your children and to take care of yourself and your family. Kids will learn, they will do okay, they will, they will manage socially. Children are so resilient. You can build up your own resilience, she says, by seeking out things you enjoy, even if you can only do them for 15 minutes a day, like taking a walk. Sometimes when we feel really tired, we just sort of sit like couch potatoes. But the truth is, if we move, if we get out and about, out in the world, with nature, just moving can actually help us feel less tired, not more tired. If you're anxious, mindfulness apps can help you relax, she says. And a new study shows that yoga may be really helpful for anxiety. It's a way to be mindful, pay attention to our bodies, uh, helps us physically, there's movement with it. And I also think there's a lot of compassion that comes with yoga. And I do really believe right now for all of us to be compassionate toward ourselves, accepting of ourselves and compassionate toward other people. That's going to really help us get through the long haul.